Let's milk it till there's nothing left to milk. We have all these different ticketing types and they all get access to different things. We're completely redesigning the name badges and we're also doing wristbands. So the idea is it's multiple levels of security. Are you going to need me for anything at all? Yeah, you know, we've moved the lounge area into that triangular space. Uh -huh. It feels weird to have a lounge without carpet. Yeah, um, how much more is it going to cost for the carpet? A couple thousand. Oh my God, a couple thousand dollars for carpet that's going to get what? trampled on. And, and completely yeah. thrown away. Yes. I mean, it's kind Couches. of modern to have lounge furniture on, on cement, concrete, you yeah. know, on concrete. Like, it does create this kind of, like, modern feel that is in right now. I like that. Carpet. You're saving us money. Got you. And you're saying we're far Let's look at the wristbands. I like the idea of using um, the reflective stuff, I think, especially for the all-access yeah. ticket. I think that's really quite cool. Yeah, that, yeah. that works. Okay, so we found that one. Okay. I kind of like the idea of having sparkle and stuff be for the all-access. Yeah, and going somewhat plainer for the others. Yeah. All right, okay, thank you. Now I'm going through all the stuff that we can do on site to talk about pre-selling our Social Media Marketing World 19 tickets. So I've got this huge list of things that we're prepping for the pre-sell. We have the best pricing that we've ever had in the history of the company for Social Media Marketing World. And we're gonna offer it exclusively to people on location. And the hope is that a thousand of them say yes i'm coming back because that's a hell of a deal but it's seriously like below our cost so the hope is that a lot of people will commit to coming back the apocalypse ads are actually doing great they can only run for so long and so probably this week is the end of the apocalypse so it's the end of the world as we know it yeah that's all okay. rock what you got for me so I just wanted to chat through our bot. I don't know if it's really necessary on Facebook versus the website. The real question is, is it hurting us to have it there? Um, yes and no. That's the second part is like when I'm going through and monitoring the bot, I have to click on every single thread. I can't run a report. Well, have there been complaints? There's, there's, there's abandons and fails, but then there are some that they, they reply back. Oh my gosh, Godzilla out there. <laughs> They're, they're Bless like, you. I think if you at least automate the response, like if I haven't answered your questions or you have further questions, here's yeah. what you can do. Okay. And one of those options is to submit a ticket. Yep. You know what I mean? Because you have a system in place for that. If you do that, then you can kind of technically get a little hands off from it, right? Right. I think that's, that's perfect. Okay. That's helpful. Okay. So I was going over all of last week's ads and the average cost per acquisition or cost per sale, whatever was around $240. Really? Which was just slightly higher mm -hmm. than the week before. What about taking the email that I sent out? You know the one I'm talking about, the one that we sent, which was my analysis on the news feed? What if we just turned it into an ad? Let's invade Jen's office and talk about this. The email that we sent last Tuesday, which was yeah. my analysis on the Facebook news uh -huh. feed changes, how well did that convert? 2,293 clicks and 18 sales for 9,000. And we got tons of emails from people saying, this was freaking incredible, thank you so much. Oh, cool. People did blog posts out of it, and we did two follow-on versions of it, right. shorter versions of it. Right. And those also brought in sales, right? Yeah, this was like our biggest week for email all year. I think what we should do is make an ad out of that. Okay. Because this is not a FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. This is uh -huh. a, this is a literally, here's exactly what the facts are and here's what you need to know. If we did a Canvas ad and we made it look like an article, that would probably go, and people would share that, I think. When we have something that works, we need yeah. to make sure Kim finds out about okay. it because so, she can think, be thinking about how to make ads out of it. Here's what we're learning. This message, put in many different mediums, works. Mm -hmm. Like, we did the live show on it, which was very, very well received. I stripped the interview from the live show into my podcast, which was very well received. We made that into a blog post, which was very well received. Um, we sent out in three different versions of emails on this thing, which were very well received. So like, I think we're learning that if we can slice and dice messages that work, mm -hmm. let's milk it till there's nothing left to milk. Yeah. So, Thanks. hey, what you guys don't know is what transpired over the last couple minutes here is a crazy idea that came from Kim through a conversation she had with Molly. 
you know, our goal is to sell a thousand plus tickets on location, and we yeah. think that a thousand plus. Yeah. A lot more than a thousand. A lot more than a thousand. Plus, plus. Yes. Plus, plus. So, so the idea of having um, a cabana or a booth where we can sell physical tickets dedicated exclusively to that will radically increase the likelihood that we will achieve that goal. That's yes. one of the cabanas, yeah. What if we took over that cabana and used that for sales and then we put a table next to it? The DJ yeah. cabana is a little bit nicer. Ooh, so that's yeah, true. If we want to make it a little different, we could move the DJ cabana up there to that spot so it stands out. It's very cool looking. When I don't want this idea to, to get like uh, dropped. Can I officially pass it to you, Jackie? Okay, cool. Sounds good. I, this I could, love that This idea. could help us right. crush our sales. How fast did we move on this, Kim? I, I'm blown away because I barely emailed you. Yeah, it's been like less than a half an hour, right? Thanks, everybody. Okay. Bye. Bye. All right, thanks. Bye. Bye. So my main job on site at the conference is to collect content for marketing next year's conference. Interviews we need to get on video, um, what kind of photos we need to take. I'm giving instructions to our photographers. Um, I'm thinking about the content for next year's promotion. So there's going to be this Mongo amazing special offer for attendees of 2018 and only attendees of 2018. It's like an inception thing while they're at the conference learning about ads. I'll be sending ads to them about the conference. So, yeah. So what do we got here, man? We have um, the conference guy. Preview of the conference guy. I am at Social Media Marketing World right now, so I'm not here at the beep. Please share this video and comment beep. Hope to see you there. Please join me on The Journey. Subscribe now on YouTube by visiting journey.show. For extra special appreciation, hit the bell and let us know you've joined the Bell Squad.